Okay, another little update on the robot remote here. I have got it so that the PlayStation 2 controller communicates um, with the touchscreen now. So if I push the robot remote and then I push the Vex Mechanum, we should get a screen that displays. Now on the bottom here is what we're looking at. And as I push a button here, it shows up in red down below. So here I'm pushing the arrow button and it shows up in red. Actually, if I kind of lean on one side of the one arrow button, both of them end up getting pressed. Um, and then the, the joysticks, the numbers change there and there. And then the little symbol buttons over here work. And also the shoulder buttons work. So there's the L2 button, L1, and the right buttons also work. Um, although my right hand is busy right now holding the camera. And then, what button is that? That's the program or play. Oh, I don't know. No, that's the select button. Select button, and then whatever that button is, the start button over there. And so anyway, all those buttons work. Um, now, all of the buttons except for the center ones, and I guess these, let's see, does this work? If I push this, yeah, okay, yeah, the left goes red if I push on the joystick, and the right goes red if I push on that joystick. Okay, those work. So the joystick buttons and the center buttons here are just digital buttons, so on or off. But the rest of these buttons are actually analog buttons. And I have an object in here that is uh, reading, that can read the analog buttons. It's not being displayed right now. But I think that's kind of cool that these are analog buttons. Um, that doesn't have much to do with this video, but I just thought I'd let you know because I was working on that code last night. And, okay, and so hopefully up here it will show the direction for the Mechanic Robot to go. But I was just going to show you the update that the PlayStation 2 controller now communicates with the propeller chip inside the enclosure there. And that's it.